Chicago Bears land the number one pick in the draft for the first time since 1947. What should they do with it? Ryan Poles is going to be tested. Let's talk about it starting now. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page. We do talk Chicago sports daily on this channel. It's the only channel talking Chicago sports, how Chicago talk. So make sure that you get in tune with us, man. So the impossible has happened. Of course, this is not how I thought this season would go. I thought a lot of different decisions would be made, but... The Chicago Bears have secured the number one pick in a draft where they lost to Minnesota and Houston getting the dub over the Indianapolis Colts. But now the question on the table here, because this is the huge part, right? Having the first pick in the draft is just a part of it. Now the real question is, how do we make the most of this? Because... There are a couple of options that you could go with here, right? I think the easiest one and the one that fir comes first to mind is trade back, right? Like you, you, you trade back, you get as many picks as you can. You try and get a haul. You try and get some players if you can, if there's a team that's willing to give up some current players as well as draft capital, right? And you, you get the most that you can for it. And th there's a couple of teams, right, that I think uh, should be some focal points of a lot of this conversation or the couple of teams that are going to be in the quarterback battle, right, whether that be C.J. Stroud or uh, Bryce Young. I, I think that there's a, a real situation here where you could see Arizona possibly try to get in on this. We know that Vegas wants to get in on this. Uh, we know that Detroit might want to be in on this as well. I don't know if they're going to ride it out with Jared Goff or not. I guess it kind of depends on how the playoffs go for them. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, the, the, the big thing here is that you're you're trying to decide what's going to be the best course of action moving forward it's great that you have the pick but now there's so much work to be done by getting this pick right like now you have to literally say what is going to be the best team that i should trade with that's not going to affect affect me long term what is going to be the best team that i should trade with that's not going to uh give give somebody a player that's going to be able to cause me trouble for the rest of my days or and i know this isn't the popular opinion but is there a situation where the Bears should make this pick? Where there's somebody in this draft, whether it's Jalen Carter, whether it's Will Anderson Jr., I don't know if I think of either of them as the uh, best player in the draft. Um, but is there somebody in this draft that's worth going after with this pick? I think that's kind of a major question that you have to assess because even if you feel like, right, there's a reach guy, but you know that this guy is going to take that step. Yeah, it's a gamble that you're taking, right? It, it, it's literally the worst case scenario for you if you miss on this pick. This is These are the kind of picks, right, that get guys fired. These are the kind of picks that you're in when you're in situations like this that get guys sent, that, that, that get regimes changed, that get coaches changed, right? Because you have to make this guy work. So you better be sure that you have a surefire piece at that position if you're going to make a pick. But I don't even think just making the player selection is off the board 110%, right? I think that there's a lot of things that you do have to evaluate when you're looking at these guys going into the offseason. Not to say that I think, right, like I said, I don't think either of those guys are the great, the best player in the draft, but I also, right, I know the value that's placed around the quarterback. I don't think either of these quarterbacks are going to end up being the best player in the draft. I just know the value that's placed around quarterbacks in the NFL, and that value around quarterbacks in the NFL is something that you absolutely Absolutely, absolutely can maximize on uh, unless you feel like you have a game changing player or maybe you could just make a pick or make a trade with somebody like Houston who does who, who essentially is going to be bad for a while, uh, depending on the draft capital that they can send back. Right. Like maybe they still get their quarterback in that situation and you just actually force them to give up more capital for it. 
There's a ton of options at the Bears' footsteps, but at the end of the day, it all comes down to Ryan Poles, and now we get to see what he's made of. I do want to know how you guys feel, man. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you as well. How do you feel about this Bears team having the number one pick? Are you excited? I know this season didn't go the way any of us wanted it to go, but now we get to see, hey, listen, you get to see right off the bat what this regime is made of, and I think here's the thing, right? And let me know how you guys are feeling in the comments below. Like I said, I'll be down there talking with you as well. Well, um, here, here's here's the biggest part of it for me, right? When I'm looking at the evaluation of this team now, you're now in the best position in the draft all the way down. Now it sucks a little bit that you don't have your own second round pick, but now maybe you can go out there and get that second round pick that uh, in a hole that's that's traded for, right? Now maybe you're able to uh, uh, plug so many holes. This this is the part right now where yeah, the number part of it looks great, right? We got number one. We've got number thirty. Uh, what is it? Thirty thirty. Oh, no, because somebody's missing a pick. So it'll be number 31 for the uh, second round pick, right? We've got whatever it is going down. You've got the best options on the board no matter what. But those are just the numbers. Now it's about finding the players, the talent evaluation. What are you seeing from these guys? And I think that you found some, some really good guys. But here's the thing. I'm not talking about guys in the second, third, fourth round. I'm talking about guys right now that are going to make an impact on your team this upcoming season. There's so much that goes into now the, the, the player evaluation, the development of, of the guys that you have here, right? And, and really just looking at, okay, how, what is going to be how how are we not only going to make the best decision for what we do with this pick but also how are we going to move forward with whatever decision we make and make those decisions the best decision right like it, it's 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 an entire trickle down effect when it comes down to uh, uh uh what the bears have to do here right the numbers look great you got the first pick in the draft i love it now I'm looking at Ryan Poles, and now guess what? Immediately, immediately we're talking about hot seat scenario here. Immediately we're talking about, okay, what's the best decision to make here? Because here's the thing. If you draft back and you get all those picks, I love that. How many of those picks are going to turn into players that are actually going to be here long term? Now that's the focus. We can start the draft breakdown. We can start the draft evaluation. We can start looking at guys that we think should be here. The Bears should go after in the draft. We can start the mock drafts, all of that. But at the end of the day, Ryan Poles is in the hot seat immediately. Not to say that he might get fired if he misses on this draft, but this is huge. This is franchise changing. And you know what? Making the wrong decision with picks like this is exactly what gets guys fired. Ryan Pace had one job, draft the right quarterback. He had one job, draft the right quarterback. He also had to find some protection for that guy. But you know what? There were guys in this draft that could have thrived without the protection being there already. You had one job. And in having that one job, he messed up on one pick. Well, I can't say that. He messed up on quite a few picks. But he messed up on one pick that was franchise changing, and it set the Bears back. And it set the Bears down, you know, a, a franchise that we thought was moving in the right direction, sent them the other direction. Wrong hire at the coach, wrong wrong draft pick, wrong, a, a lot of things. But these are the decisions that change franchises here. And so for me, right, this is this is a this is the biggest decision in Ryan Pohl's career. This is we're going to be focused in on him. I think this could also dictate kind of where the coaching staff ends up, who's going to be a part of it, who's not. Right, like there, there's so many things that are going to be uh, a branch off of this one decision. But the fact is, right now, the one thing that we do know is the Bears do have the best pick in the draft, uh, and that as we're moving forward, you, you're, you're going to hear speculation all offseason on what the Bears are planning to do. We did hear Ryan Poles today talk about he's listening to calls. He's listening in on different things, right? But at a minimum, all we know right now is that the Bears have the, – the world is the Bears' oyster. Now what are they going to do with it? I want to know how you guys feel. What do you think the Chicago Bears should do with it? Me personally, I'm still on the trade back boat. I am. I'm still on the trade back boat. I, I think the list of teams that you trade back with uh, is interesting. I think C.J. Stroud has upped his his uh, uh, stock so much that he might be the top pick in the draft, and there might be a lot of teams looking to bring him in. Um, and it, it, listen, the double trade back is also an option. The double trade back is also on the table. So a uh, lot, lot of, lot of, uh, 
A lot of questions, a lot of questions to be answered this offseason. We're going to find out real quick what this front office is made of, man. But as always, man, it's your boy, Pat the Designer, back at it again to continue watching our Chicago Bears content. Click the links on the screen or check the links in the description below. I believe we have Floose. Uh, is he going to be the coach long term with the Chicago Bears here and some of the Bears wide receiver options that they could go after here? Tune in with us as well on all that. Y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. Peace.